Hello, welcome to this week's episode of How's the Market, Pensacola. Listen, I'm asking a quick favor of anybody. Um, if you have any connections with the weather person, can you find out when that cool air they keep promising is actually going to show up? They've been promising and promising and promising. And when I got up to run this morning about 4.30, it was already 72 degrees. I thought it was supposed to be low 60s this morning. I was getting ready for that. I'm like actually went out looking for kind of sweatpants and stuff of that nature to ensure that when I go for a run, I'm not freezing. But yeah, 72, I was not putting on sweatpants. That's for sure. Although it probably wouldn't hurt. Maybe I would sweat a little more out and... I'm a man on a mission. My mission is to help people break through all the noise out there. And Don't need no permission. I want to help you get to actual truth. Don't you just want the truth? All right, so here we go. As we do every week, I always start off with this slide right here just so we can get a good baseline. If we have between six and seven months worth of inventory, it's considered a neutral market. Anything greater than seven months is considered a buyer's market. Anything less than six months is considered a seller's market. Also, as I say every week, anything less than three months is considered a hyper seller's market. Anything greater than nine months is considered a hyper buyer's market. So let's look, shall we? Where are we? We're starting here to Scambia County. Scambia County looks like, again, anything under 300,000 um, is a hyper seller's market. If this is the first time you're watching the show, over here on the left is the numbers for the listings or the asking price. Over here on the right is the month's inventory. So that's why I have to show that first slide first so you kind of get a good baseline. Anything under 300,000 is considered a hyper seller's market. Looks like anything under 450 is considered a seller's market. But we've still got this weird pocket. Um, I'm used to seeing a little bit more of a gradual jump here. I was just talking with a, uh, a seller I have right now that's in this 450 mark. And between four and 450 is three and a half months. It's almost a hyper seller's market. But between 450 and 500 is a buyer's market because we said anything greater than seven months. Now that's come down a little. If I remember last week it was 7.8. Um, so it's come down a little, but it's still considered um, slightly skewed towards the buyer's side. Not much. You're not going to go in at 450 and, and be able to knock 20% off the price. All right, you're just not going to be able to do that because it's slightly skewed towards the buyer side. Um, looks like five to five fifty is definitely a buyer's market, and then five fifty up to six fifty is a slight buyer's market. So almost a neutral market here, except for this five hundred to five fifty. This, like I said, has come down, and I'm wondering if we're going to see some stuff start sliding from this bracket up to here, the three point five bracket, but. We'll just have to see. Anything over 650000 in Escambia County is a hyper buyer's market, but even those have come down. You notice these used to be over a year, and both of these, 700 plus is actually under a year. Some of it is it's actually under contract. Some of it is people are starting to pull stuff off of the market. Now, that's going to be affecting all of these price points. You're seeing stuff come off the market. They're going, you know what, I'll just do it in the spring. And I'm going to challenge some people to maybe not do it during the spring. <laughs> because the spring you're going to actually have a ton of competition. So right now, if a buyer is out looking right now, they're a serious buyer. We don't have a lot of tire kickers out there right now. I've got some people that are kind of tire kickers that have said, hey, listen, there's no sense in me looking at anything. I'll just look at it online because I'm not going to get serious until after the first of the year anyways. And I know they can't get serious because their biggest part of their down payment is coming from their tax return. And that's fine. I think I was trying to say return and refund at the same time. And I just come up with return. Welcome to video. Anyways, um, that's fine. But your buyers that are actually walking into properties right now are serious. So sometimes I'm going to challenge some sellers. And I've had this conversation. Hey, you may want to seriously consider listing it now, putting it active now. I can tell you a story of a friend of mine who, um, <laughs> and he says this too. He goes, let me tell you, if you list with Shane, you better be ready to move. Um, we listed his property. It was about middle of November. I want to say it was a week or two before Thanksgiving. Um, and he said in his mind, he was like, yeah, I'm listening with Shane. We'll get some, you know, buyers, some looky loos, and then we'll probably wind up putting it under contract first of the year, maybe February, be out by spring. Uh, we were under, we were on the market for three days. And I called him up and said, uh, you've got a full price buyer. Can you move out by Christmas? And he laughed and went, no, seriously, what's going on? <laughs> and I went, no, I'm serious. They really want to be in that house by Christmas. And he went, well, I guess I'm packing boxes. I mean, literally, we had the, it was three days by the time we culminated everything. I had the offer the same day. Does that always happen? No, it doesn't. 
But boy, let me tell you, when it does, it's nice. It's nice. And uh, he always laughs. He goes, man, if you list with Shane, you better be ready to move. Um, Again, it doesn't always happen that way, but there's serious buyers out there right now. That's why I tell this story. There are serious buyers out there right now. And we're going to get even more serious as we get into later of October and into November because there's going to be a time crunch where people want to own a property by the end of the year so they can homestead it for 2020. So that's going to continue to increase each week. So I'm wondering if some of this is people pulling it off the market because they're not understanding that there's an increase in buying right now. There just is. With the inventory as low as it is and the interest rates as low as they are. And now we're starting to creep up to that pressure of trying to close by the end of the year. So that's Escambia County. Let's take a look at a good old Santa Rosa County, see what's going on. Um, pretty much the same thing, except this, the 5 to 550, was a hyper seller's market. Because it was all, all the way up to 550 was a hyper seller's market. But instead, right now it's 500. Everything under 500,000 is a hyper seller's market. Everything. And if you look at this, I mean, look, 1 to 150, I said first time home buyer, 1 to 150 is 2.4 months. 150, no, excuse me, 1 to 150 is not even a month. That's what I was looking at. I was like, why is it 62.4? No, no, 1 to 150 is not even a month. What does that mean? That means the appetite right there is extremely strong for that price point, and there's not much inventory. There is 15 houses active right now in that inventory. That's it in Santa Rosa County, but there's 33 under contract. There's people buying. Basically, what this is saying is if we don't get new inventory in the next half a month, we could be out of inventory by the end of October. We could be out of inventory in this price point by the end of October. And look, the next one up, 15200 is not much better. They're saying by Veterans Day, we could be out of inventory. All right, so these are definitely hyper sellers markets. If you're looking at liquidating anything or if you're even considering it um, over the next 12 months, give me a call. But definitely if you want to do it right now, because you can get, you can price pretty aggressively. Uh, 500 to 550, still a seller's market, okay? But a 550 to 600, almost like in Escambia County, except I know this 5 to 550. Oh, excuse me, it was the 4 to 450. So go up 100,000, 5 to 550. 4.5, 550 to 600, 7.1. So that's a buyer's. Six to seven, or six to 650 is a neutral market. I hate that they marked that yellow. It should be blue. Um, that's a neutral market. That's the pure definition. Six months worth of inventory is considered a neutral market. So we've got that. Uh, 650 to 700 is a buyer's market. And look at this 700,000 plus in Santa Rosa County, neutral. So there's really not a strong buyers or hyper buyers in Santa Rosa County at all. There's not a hyper buyers market in Santa Rosa County at all. So if somebody asks you how the market's doing in Santa Rosa County and you say it's a seller's market, I would still disagree with you because there are some neutral markets and the 650 to 700 is still considered a buyer's market. It's just not a hyper buyer's market. Okay, you can't be quite as aggressive here. And if you look, the 700,000 plus, the ultra luxury, Look here, 93 and 96%. And what is this ratio right here? This is list to sale ratio. List to sale ratio. It's a little lower. It's kind of funny that so is the zero to 50,000, but I know why that is. Most of those properties are just lots, just flat out lots. So that's what's happening here. Here, the buyers are starting to become a little more aggressive. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. All right, that's what I got for you today. As always, if you're considering doing anything, buying, selling, renting, leasing, or just putting up Halloween decorations. <laughs> if you're considering doing anything over the next 12 months, reach out to me. Um, just leave me a comment on Facebook, YouTube. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe and follow on the proper channels. I try and keep everything up. And again, I'm not trying to give you any fluff. I'm not trying to give you anything, you know, no pressure sales. I'm always just trying to give you data. That's why I shoot this show every week, just so you can see the data, because I know most people that watch this show, uh, matter of fact, I know I talked to a customer today who said, hey, Shane, I watch your show pretty much every week. So Amy, get better. There's a shout out. Uh, I'm just going to say Amy H, because uh, I don't want people to know my last name. I'm not going to broadcast somebody's last name. That's a little weird, um, but get better. I know she wasn't feeling good when I talked to her this morning, um, but I know she watches the show and it's just to keep up. They have no intentions of selling or buying anytime soon, but they kind of keep up with the market. And this is what this data is for. Helps you make better decisions for you, your friends, the people that you refer, and yours. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. I'm a man on a mission. My mission is to help people break through all the noise out there and don't need no permission. 
I want to help you get to actual truth. Don't you just want the truth?